Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Ford Air. Today, you got me, Solomon, here, and uh, I'm actually not on my GoPro yet, but just wanted to give you guys a little intro with Bennett. Going to be heading over to the shop now. We're going to be uh, getting the truck fixed back up so I can head back to Florida today. So, uh, here's the intro. We'll see you at the shop. All right, guys, so just got over here and uh, Matt is gonna throw in the new drive shaft. What's going on, guys? Yeah, man, so we had American drive shaft over in Marietta. Uh, hook us up with a nice beefy uh, .83 wall drive shaft, uh, a little bit thicker than what we had. We're gonna see if this thing holds up for us, man. New U-joints, pretty much all fresh. Hell yeah. Yeah, man, so we're gonna slide it on in and uh, we'll show you guys uh, putting it in and uh, Maybe some more uh, fun stuff, we'll see. <laughs> I'm probably not doing any burnouts until I get some traction bars in the back. So what I think happened was the rear end tilted a little bit, which messed up the pinion angle and then oh, pushed man. it right in. Yeah, so this, this bad boy is a little bit thicker than what we had going and uh, for the length, not that it was necessarily not, you know, for a correct though, but just a little short. And uh, so, let's try this bad boy out. Heck yeah. All righty, we'll see what all right, guys, Matt just got it in there. All right, look at that. New drive shaft installed. Thank you, Matt. Oh, you also told me to break it, so. I mean, yeah, if, hey, if you're gonna sandbag your buddies into doing burnouts, at least be the guy to lend a helping hand. No one wants to be that guy to suggest to break it and it breaks and not help. <laughs> All right, guys, now let's uh, get a cold start. We're gonna move her. I actually got some new wheels and tires, so I'm gonna show you that in a second, but let's get her fired. A little bit of a different exhaust tone with uh, maybe one tension muffler. Man, it burns like a kit. <laughs> That's how hot those tires were getting. It might have only been a 30 second burnout, but it was a hot one. <laughs> Let it warm up. We're gonna move it back up to the door. We're gonna switch out to the wheels and tires, and I'll show you those in a second. Alrighty, so more burnouts? I think that's what the people are calling for. <laughs> Man, no. No more burnouts. No. Not today. Too yeah. early. Yeah, but we will show them new burnout wheels and tires. Oh yeah. yeah just regular. So fresh burn got, set. Got these on Facebook Marketplace. They got good tread on them. Look at that, man. I'd call that a dime and a half. Heck yeah. So 600 bucks. Thought it was a pretty good deal. They're off a Mustang. Gonna slap these bad boys on there and then uh I think I'll probably be ready to hit the road. Oh, probably gonna grab that seat from Bennett so we're gonna put these on right now and uh, might do a time-lapse enjoy All right, guys, well, we got on the new wheels. What do you think? I like the way they look a lot better. Ooh, man, she's looking like a street truck now. Ready to go terrorize the streets again. So if anybody that's watching wants some uh, used Cobra wheels with pretty good tires, mint, you let me know. I'll have these up for sale. If not, they're gonna be my burnout tires once I get home and uh, <laughs> gonna do some more there. Not gonna do any till I get home. So right now, uh, I'm gonna, Make sure the air pressures are all good and then 
gonna probably bring it upstairs, do that seat, and then hit the road. We'll see you there. I'm not gonna lie, when I was doing the drive shaft, I felt something a little weird. Yeah? I was like, dude, this doesn't feel right. So yeah, you were saying, uh, yeah. All right, guys, so we just pulled it up to the top of the shop because I was gonna just put the bench seat in. And when I drove it here, uh, the rear end definitely felt bad. So we just put it, put it jacked it up side. and we spun yeah, it and it we're pretty sure that the axle or the ring and pinion destroyed itself when we did the burnout. So right now we're gonna take it apart and figure out what's wrong with it and then get it fixed so I can get back on the road. But if it ain't one thing, it's another. So fix the drive shaft now, it's gotta fix the rear end. All right guys, it's actually the next day. Yesterday was a go around, find parts searching day. But we got Matt over here. What's going on guys? And Matt and Joe disassembled all the old stuff. So this is our problem right here. Yeah man, so we got uh, some spider gear explosion if you wanna look inside the carrier there. So those little guys were all spinning happy and then it uh, looks like they skipped a couple teeth on them and then, uh, not quite liquefied, I would call that more of just uh, blending the splintered. Yeah, and <laughs> luckily Bennett actually replaced his nine inch third member. So we had his original one and the problem with his was the outside pinion, right? Or yeah, the... so the ring gear was a little bit, uh, a little bit different between the housings and our housing casting ended up having a little lip in the seam from it, uh, so we ended up Getting the uh, curb it and taking that out. Uh, you might be able to see it, it's down in there. But uh, got a uh, new to you set of gears in it, nice and tight, all uh, shimmed ready, ready to throw back in. Heck yeah. yeah. So, so right now I need to run to uh, park store, go grab two uh, axle seals. And uh, while I'm there, I'm pretty sure, Matt, you're throwing that in there, right? Yeah, so we'll get a little time lapse of us throwing the uh, dip into the nine inch. We're gonna silicone it up, seal it back up. New axle seals are on the way. So while they're getting the seals, we're gonna seal up the dip for the third member into the housing. Rock and roll. Yes, All right, sir. guys, so enjoy what's next. All right, guys, well, it's been a whole day of uh, running around finding parts, but we're finally reassembling everything. Joe's over here getting it all put back together. We got the new center trunk back in, the axles are in, and the uh, brakes are going on, and then I'm focusing on the inside. So I'm gonna be switching this seat out for one that Bennett has, he's trading me. So I'm gonna unbolt this, pull it out right now. All right, let's see how it looks. Yeah, not too bad. Just needs a vacuum in. And uh, I'm guessing that this might be the original color blue. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna go grab a vacuum, clean all that stuff up, and I'll show you when I put the new seat back in. All right, so got the new seat in, or new to me. This thing is way more plush, has uh, actual support. Actually put some bolts in to hold it down, which is nice. And that's over here wrapping up. Yeah, man, getting the spacers all tightened up. Remember folks, use your torque wrench. That's why they're there for. You don't want to get this wheel flying off. <laughs> Absolutely right. So once we get all done, gonna hop in that comfy new seat, hit the road. We'll see you uh, when we start wrapping up. So we got the drive shaft back in, we got the rear all buttoned up. Now I'm gonna go take it around the block, make sure everything's good, and then hit the road to Miami. I need to get home, I haven't seen my kids in a while, I haven't seen the wife, so uh, I'm gonna go take it for a test drive, take you guys along. All right, got the door open, let's give her a crank. I always let the motor prime.
All right, that was successful. Everything went smooth. So, gonna go uh, say goodbye to the boys and hit the road. All right guys, so I just uh, got on the road and we got beautiful Atlanta traffic. So I'm gonna enjoy some traffic and I'll pick you guys up in a little bit. Alright guys, I just popped into my buddy Chip Crenshaw's place. Wanted to make a What the Truck video with his awesome crew cab over here. And we did, so you guys uh, just stay tuned for that. And then he's got another crew cab, a bump side right over here. And this baby is beautiful. He hasn't started on her yet, but it's gonna get there soon. But I gotta hit the road. We just finished filming all that stuff and uh, it's gonna start getting dark fast. I need to get back on the road and head to Florida. So we'll see you guys on the road. All right guys, so just made it over here to Bucky's. I have a rule, never not stop when you come to a Bucky's. So, gonna go inside, see what they got. Always like to get my wife a present when I come here and uh, gonna top it off even though I've only driven like 100 miles or so. So we'll top it off and then keep hitting the road. So we'll see you in a second. Right, guys so I'm not sure if you could see me or not but I just made it to my buddy's house I'm gonna be staying here for the night so I will see you guys in the morning good morning everybody so it's the next morning just got up got some coffee and uh, gonna show you some cool stuff so my buddy's pulling out his super cab and then uh, we got some other cool trucks to show you so here's a cold start guys so we're over here at my buddy Don's house and uh, Don show us a little bit about what you got over here uh got a 68 LTD 390 uh, uh, 390 car it's already got 28,000 miles on it she Real is nice, a uh, driver puff you guys don't even understand how clean can I open the door yeah go ahead Guys, this thing literally looks like grandma just came out of it. And you and Don, you were telling me that this thing has the upgraded four barrel factory 390 big boy. Yeah, it's got the Z code uh, 390 four barrel dual exhaust, you know, factory. Uh, original paint, uh, you know, really never been touched. I found it in the the state's hell been sitting in a garage for 40 years. And I got her up back and running and she's a nice little cruiser. Fun to drive around. Heck yeah. And then what about this beautiful uh, super cab over here? Tell me a little bit about it. It's a 1978 uh, Ford super cab trailer special. Um, it's only got 60,000 original miles on it, all original paint, original interior. Uh, hasn't been really touched. I've done a couple of upgrades for better performance. Um, man, this thing is beautiful. You sure know how to find them. And I've done a, like I said, I did a few uh, Minor upgrade for better performance. I put a 3G alternator on it, along with a four-row uh, 
aluminum radiator with uh, electric fans. This has the original factory oil bath oil, uh, air cleaner on it. Um, just a real nice original untouched uh, oh, yeah. truck. Where'd this one come out of? I got this one out of Baton Rouge. Okay. Man, that's neat. That is so cool. And Ford actually, they designed a trailer special for farmers, um, the people who, you know, pull horse trailers or, you know, stuff like that. Um, kind of like the trailer or the camper special. Without telling them too much, what do we have over here? Because we're going to make a separate what the truck video with this, but just going to give you guys a little sneak peek. Uh, this is a one of 86 1976 uh, Ford Bicentennial uh, models. Uh, it's an F100 short bed four wheel drive. Heck yeah. With the 360 uh, Granny four speed. Heck yeah. Well, we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to make a what the truck with the Bicentennial and I might show you some more stuff if Don lets me. And uh, if not, I'll see you guys back on the road. All right, guys, just pulled the trucks up together. So we got the Bicentennial, got my 67, got this beautiful 78, and uh, I'm gonna bust the drone out, fly it over here, and then I think I'm gonna hit the road, so we'll see you there. guys so just finished loading up here at Don's got a 79 grill a couple tailgates pretty cool pedal car for the kids and it's time to hit the road so back to Miami we go Just drive it slow. California sucks. They don't put, like, uh, they don't fucking paint the lanes in the, <laughs> the highways. So, add, you know, add rain, dark, shitty headlights, no, no lane markers. It was just, it was stress city for me. And um, we get through it. Long story. guys just made it over to the shop gonna uh, unload some of this stuff and uh, then head home so we'll see you after I finish unloading home sweet home all right guys so just made it home a long day but here so uh, I guess the truck drove great didn't have any issues the whole ride home um, got pretty good gas mileage I feel like um, I'm just tired, wanna go inside, see the wife and kids. So uh, if you guys can, smash that like button. If you can, smash that subscribe button. If you've got any questions, comments, drop them down below. And uh, that's it, fordera.com, you get some cool merch. See you guys in the next video.